All right, so today we're going to learn about how to use TestNav. If you just Google TestNav, anyone can go to the website. Um, this is what students in Virginia, at least, will use for their SOL test. And um, teachers or the instructional coaches will download the app onto their computer. But you can also access this at home if you want to see what it looks like and practice navigating the website or the app. So I'm going to click on Virginia because that's where I live. On the test day, students will be given a um, specific code to enter here, the username and password. But to do the practice, we're going to go down to Virginia practice items. Okay, so you have lots of options. Um, I teach third grade, so I'm gonna keep it on third grade for now. And under math, you can actually see the release 2016 test, or you can practice just the tools. Um, so let's do the tools first. All right, we're gonna hit start. So your math tools are here to the side. On the real test, um, these will appear for only certain questions, depending if it's something that needs a tool. Um, so for these, I'm thinking we would wanna use the ruler, which is actually up here. So you have an inch ruler and a centimeter ruler. You can only use one at a time. Um, students will need to learn which one um, to read the question carefully and see which one they need. So it does say inches on it. The thing that's a little bit tricky about this is that there's an extra space here. Okay, so students, you need to always line up the zero with the beginning when you're measuring, not the end of the ruler, the zero. So I can click anywhere on the ruler, click and drag to move it. And then to rotate it, I click on one of the sides one of the circles um, to rotate it. So I wanna measure this crown, I'm gonna line up the zero and then I'm gonna rotate it, move it again. Let's see, definitely takes a little bit of trial and error here. Okay, so um, I'm lining up my zero right there and this crayon is almost four inches long. So I would say it's about four inches long. If I were estimating, my answer would be four inches. All right, let's try the screwdriver. The whole point of this is to practice just using the tools and moving it around, lining up the zero. Okay, the screwdriver is about how long? About six inches, right? All right, if we want to try with the centimeter ruler, we're just going to click on that. The inch ruler automatically disappears, and we can do the same thing. So the centimeter ruler tells us that the crown is about eight and a half centimeters, or if it says to the nearest centimeter, I would round up to nine centimeters. If you're following along, how about you try this one on your own? All right, now let me check. I think it is closer to 13 centimeters. The 13 and a half mark is a little bit longer. You'll see the half marks are a little bit longer and it's less than 13 and a half, so I would round down to 13. All right, let's hit the next arrow to go to the next question. All right, for these, I see some polygons and these, um, if you are an upper grade, you might be asked about how to measure an angle. So let's say I need to measure angle JHG. I'm going to line up the corner with this midpoint right here. And I'm looking at the outside numbers. It goes from zero all the way to 180. 
And so this angle is about 100 degrees. If I want to do the other angle, HJF, um, I'm going to look at the inside numbers now. And it looks like, again, it's about 100 degrees. Just like the ruler, I can rotate this. And I'm lining up the white line with the side of the polygon. Okay, so angle GFJ would be, I'm going to look at the outside numbers this time, about 80 degrees. And I'm thinking since this is symmetrical that the other angle would be about the same. So the other thing that you might be asked is to find the uh, perimeter of a shape like this. Okay, so the perimeter is the distance around the outside. So if I were to find the perimeter, I see this is about three and a half inches. I might want to use my pen tool to write that on here. Three. 0.5 or three and a half. Let's see, this side is closer to two inches. And then I know that these last two sides are going to be equal. So I'm just going to measure it once. Let's see, four and a half. And the last one is going to be four and a half as well. Okay, so if I were to calculate the perimeter, I'm not done. I need to add them all together. Four plus four is eight. A half plus a half makes a whole. So that would be nine inches. Nine, 10, 11. 11 plus three would be 14. And then we still have a half. So 14 and a half inches would be my perimeter. 